All right. So I don't usually do a lot of my arts recently. Uh, he, him, by the way. Um, if you, if anyone was ever curious about that. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a drawing of corn. Now, you might think to yourself, oh, corn, really? But uh, we're going to try to do what would be equivalent to an art course. Because I have taught some people in the past. And I'm just going to do one. And these aren't going to be very common. So if I do come out with them, they're merely advertisement for courses that I plan to make eventually here. So. With that said. We're going to progress. And I got to reposition that phone a little bit. Because you're not going to be able to see this. So. First off, you get your pencil. Usually, don't make it too sh sharp at the end. Not for this kind of thing. Because you got to get bold lines. Because you're making corn. Okay? You're making corn. So now, I'm going to try. I am I'm good at art. I'm bad at lining up things. You're going to have to give me a moment. Mm. I'm not going to cut this because, to be honest, if you were doing this, you would also be doing setup with your phone and stuff. i got to make sure all of that is about as lined up as it's going to get. Wow, that is not where I expected my camera to be. All right. Well, first off, you draw your cob very lightly. Now, I am going to draw a half a cob, all right? I'm going to draw a half cob. You want that little bit of a squared end. And I'm not here to tell you exactly how to do your stuff. I'm just giving you examples of how to do them. Now we do want to drop shadow, so we're going to actually start working on that immediately as we thin this out. I'm going to try to make this short because I'm not going to speed it up or anything. Just give you an idea of actual artisan work. I kind of want to make sure there's some drop shadow at the bottom. If you don't have drop shadow, which is literally the backdrop of a image, and I actually do have an online guide that explains this stuff. So we're going to put our little light bulb right here, because we've got our source of light right here. All right. All right. So we got our source of light. And you're learning how to draw a lamp too. All right, we got that. And we're gonna go like that so that we can think about the fact that this light is dropping on this core. Now, once you got your, about the size you're looking for to do your kernel, you're gonna make a little bit of a womble line at the top. And you're gonna just bring it down. Art isn't that easy when you're really trying to master it and you're especially new to it. So it could be kind of useful. And I haven't seen a corn kernel done yet. So if we're doing a cut leaf, we're gonna put our leaf right here. And we're gonna bring it down like that. 
Now there's layers to these leaves. This is literally the corn husk. And we're gonna put this in behind it for aesthetic reasons. So for aesthetic reasons, we're also gonna to want to do that. Now there will be a small leaf that might be hidden among this side. If you think about the distance, going like that, you're also going to try and align this just like that. There you go. And we're going to wrap it around here just like that. And then after we do that, we're going to actually darken the shading. In various spots. All right. Hold on. There is more. Now we got our basic kernel shape. So we want our core to be somewhat visible just so that we get a point of interest. And then we got these kind of going like this. Gotta make this straight line a little bit bumpy. All right, you go up and then you start doing your kernels. Now, it doesn't really matter what shape you choose to do your kernels in. Just try not to get it confused with back here. Now you gotta remember every kernel is individual. So this means that when you're drawing it, there's gonna be gaps between these. Which is something that you do have to keep in mind when you're working on it. And you can't just do it so that it looks like scales or layered because it really isn't at the end of the day. There's gaps in corn, corn is imperfected, but let's do something that's kind of got a little bit of that scale. So we're trying to get rid of some of these pieces. We're thinking this leaf, this one right here is over these kernels. This is all chewed up where there would be kernels. If we make a perfect corn, it's not going to make any sense. We got to try to show you a little bit of a difficult corn. Now, the reality is when you're looking at a piece of corn or a cob of corn, even though there is a standard pattern, there is also the concept that while you're working on your corn design, there is other sized pieces in those kernels. Some of them are thicker than others. Some of them are smaller than others. And you'll notice that with organic corn. It's not a perfect cob. And you kind of use shading to your advantage here. And you gotta make sure that everything is drop shadowed appropriately so that it all looks correct. Just like that. You put a little stem here if you really want to. And you just continue drawing your little kernels. I just draw random little circles. Now, as we're going up, these kernels are going to naturally get bigger. So making these kernels naturally a bit bigger as you go, even if varied, the varying, various pieces are going to be bigger, even if they're all different sizes. And again, use your shading to your advantage. like that. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to also add a bit of a area over here. And again, we're remembering that our pieces, our kernels are bigger. 
over here. Even if, again, not perfect. And we're going to take another bite out of it. But we're just going to take a bite out of it on this side, which the shading is going to be about the same. And because of this, we're actually going to indent this little section here. And then we're going to shade the back. And there we go. And now every time the light hits this, it's going And the final bout of corn, I'm going to have the largest kernels. And then where you see your lumps are sticking out, just shade those in because that'll work for dimension. And there you go. Now, most leaves have lines, so that we're gonna add some lines. Some of these lines are gonna be darker than others. There we go. And we're really going to emphasize the edges of these kernels. Now, external lines are going to be done lightly. Now we finish our drop shadow. As light can stretch it. And then we do our shading. There we go. And that should be good, actually. And there you go. A cob of corn.